Hello everyone. So um, there's so many new decks that have come in that um, I want to just do a quick like snippet and like flip through of them. And then once I've used them a bit, I want to do the flip throughs. It's just because there's so many that are like <laughs> like pending to be filmed for the flip through. Um, that's the only reason. So let's get into them. So first up is the Keepers of Light Oracle by Kyle Gray. Um... I was just drawn to this um, about two weeks ago. This is how long it's been sitting here. It's about two weeks now because I'm just waiting for them all to come in and they all just came in at once and there's delivery issues or something. Anyway, this one, uh, I don't know why. I was just really drawn to it. And I think it was the art style because of that Ancestor Angel one. So there's the backing. And it's all about these just, you know, historical and spiritual figures in... Uh, life and religion and stuff like we have like archangel michael here we have bridget saint bridget uh and it's just the artwork is just beautiful like you know and what they represent and it's just like i can't wait to start using it just to see who's guiding me that day and stuff like that you know and oh it's so pretty like i love how they just like look at you comfortably like they're not looking at you like staring at you they're just kind of just looking at you going what what do you need there's gaia and oh my god like green tara like it's so pretty like it's unbelievable and i just the artwork's gorgeous so i really can't wait to start using this properly and then, like, so when the flip through does come around, I've used it a bit, and then I can give a review at the same time. Ooh, I didn't know horrors was in this. It's just gorgeous, you know. Joan of Arc, you know, it's just amazing. I won't ruin the rest, but like, we'll do a flip through later on, um, down the road. Um, but uh, that is the Keepers of Light Oracle. Next up is the Spirit of the Animals Oracle, I nearly said the other one, Animal Spirit, uh, by Jodie Bergsma. And I was using this in the August horoscopes and I just had to use it straight away. You know the ones where you're like, I need to use that, I need it, I need it right now, I need to use it. And I just had to. Um, it comes with this like map, uh, not I say a map, it's a, a layout for a reading. It's huge. It's like a poster nearly and I haven't used that yet because I do not have the space. But uh, yeah, it comes with, um, it's a hefty book. Um, it's quite a hefty book. It's not that as hefty as like a, the Divine Feminine ones or those Colette Baron Reed ones. But uh, you know, it is what it is. So there's the backing. I've used, now since I've used I can give a little bit of a snippet it, it it was really good and really easy to read with very easy to they're very slippy very easy to just intuitively read or just read what's on the as i said intuitively come on and like you know it's just nice to connect with um, an animal spirit rather than someone a person because they've been on the earth longer than us kind of thing no but they know earth's nature and all that more than us so and it's really pretty like it's just like oh who did the artwork does it say who did the artwork uh, oh my god does it say no it just says jody bergsma on the box um when i do the re proper review of it i will look into who did the art but if it was jody herself well fair play like they're so strong and like you know pretty and like they just send the message straight away there's even <laughs> giraffes i love that um where is it now oh just look at this snow leopard he's so sweet and he's like what do you want i'll come to you when i want something I like this one. They just have like a, a question mark card goes personal choice. So you pick the animal in your head. So if it's not in the deck. You know, it's lovely. Oh, I love it so much. 
And here's the next one, which is The F Wild Wisdom of a Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. And the art is by C Selena Benich. Benich. Just, I have always had a relationship or some sort of connection to fairies since I was a little girl. And I asked in a group, um, can someone recommend any other fairy decks? Because I love my fairy tarot and I want to get more fairy decks that I already have. And someone recommended this one, uh, which is the Lucy Cavendish one, of course. But it's like, I have the Dragon Fay one. And then once I saw some reviews of this, I was just, I need this. And it's just so pretty. I haven't used it yet because, you know, it's just been sitting there waiting to be reviewed. I've shuffled it, I think, once. Just for myself. Um... But like the expressionism of it and the art style. Like, look at that, like she's in pain because the tree's cut down. Oh, it's really pretty. Some of them aren't even fairies, they're like just all oh, the fairies will catch me, it's fine. Child of the moon, I love that. It's just mm, it's so pretty. Do you know when you're like, I wanna cry, it's so pretty. Um there's a lover's card, or I call it the lover's card, in here, if I can find it. Here it is, and it's just the prettiest thing ever, it's fairy lovers. It's on the back of the book, um, when you get the book, it comes with it, and I just, it's so pretty, like, it's so, like, playful, yet they love each other, and it's innocent and sweet, and there is the backy. Um... Yeah, no, I really want to start using this deck properly because I love fairies and fairies are just like my thing. They're the thing I connect with. I've tried connecting with mermaids. I've tried connecting with <laughs> vampires, uh, but fairies are just mine. They're my thing and I love them. So let's carry on to the next deck. The next step is a Dorian Virtue deck that I was looking for until yesterday I found it, obviously. But um, I was flipping through this. Uh, for myself and you know when you see it on a screen you're like oh it's this, this is so tight to open my goodness but you know when you see it and you're just like I really want that deck and then you hold it and you're like oh it's, it's not what I thought it would be it's I don't mind like I oh my god stuck in there um I do not mind um Mother Mary because out of all the um uh, saints from catholic church and such she's the one i would connect with the most and i do have an oracle deck um with her i thought it was on my desk there hang on now. oh no that's the term let's see here and it's the before we get into this one the one i connected with the most is the alana fairchild one the mother mary oracle i just felt like that was more motherly and warm whereas this is a constantly just from first impressions, it's putting a lot of the religious factors around it in your face. Um, which is, you know, if that's what you want, it's fine. But personally, I just didn't um, want that in a deck. And, you know, um, it's just like just putting it in your face. It's a bit too much. But like, it's a really nice homely deck, I find it. Homely deck. For someone, it's a homely deck. Whereas, like as I said, the Lana Fairchild one, I just connect with the most. And, yeah. So, first impressions of this, I don't know if I'll be doing a flip through because I know a friend of mine is interested in this one and she was looking for it. And I went, if I don't connect with it, you can have it. So, that's it. I'm going to wait to do a trade with it. So, um, that's my thoughts on that deck. Next up is another Doring Virtue uh, tarot deck. Tarot? Oracle deck. And it's the Goddess Guidance Oracle. I I saw this years ago, or my friend used it, and I didn't connect with it. And now, because maybe in my life now, I'm just like, maybe I do need this. Um, it's much more straight to the point and colourful than the Divine Feminine. Because the Divine Feminine, I, I don't mind it, but you have to look them up and you don't know who's who. Whereas this one is just, it's gilded, I can get the camera. Um, it's so colourful and like it just says, 
the little message from that goddess there's Anya yeah it's an Irish name so whoever sees this and says oh I've been saying Ain. I was like no it's Anya um the uh like look at that like the cultural aspect of this it's so empowering and I just I used it last night and there she is the box art lady which is the which is Dana um oh Maeve mm. if I was a hmm, Maeve there's a Maeve in Irish uh, folklore she caused a lot of trouble um oh Sekhmeth ooh I didn't know she was in this that's nice but yeah it's very colourful and straightforward and it's like a soft gentle tap on the shoulder like going just so you know you're you're being protected like whereas um just from my experience with the Divine Feminine, which I want to revisit just to get more into it because it was very it was a big deck and it was a lot to take in when you didn't know what you were looking for. But yeah, um it's a very pretty deck. I'm just skipping a few because you know. But yeah, I really connected with that. I just like the minute I held it. And my, my heart was like racing because I was like, it's so exciting to have a deck. And I went, I feel so safe and nice. So let's carry on to the next deck. The next deck is a herb one, which is the Magical Herb Oracle. I don't know where I got the idea to go, I need a plant deck. Because I don't do any herbal, you know, remedies and... um any kind of spells with um uh plants just yet because you know i'm still living at home i don't want to cause a fire and be like why are you why are you lighting sage and fire <laughs> um so I just stick the incense um just out of respect um so this is by uh carolyn darcy and the illustration is by dear danny um it's a very sweet deck i'm gonna say that it's sweet um the little plants on the inside there um it's just because i don't do um herb herb stuff i don't see the draw to it if that makes sense where so if someone was you know making like little bags of like uh good luck with the herbs that they know to use um it would make so much sense to and what the only thing i do like about this like you see this is parsley and it says attraction and you can see them like a silhouette of a magnet there showing its attraction and they're being attracted to each other and i don't know why it's sell it looks like it's sellotaped oh they are all sellotaped like it's really nice i just don't think it will suit me so that's why that's been sitting for like maybe a month on my desk just sitting there so that might go up on my buy and sell i do not know yet because I think another friend is interested in this deck. It's very sweet. Um, okay, I think it's sweet. If you did herbal stuff, you know, it would be it would be ideal for you. But since if, since I don't, um, it doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't sync up with me. So uh, we'll carry on to the next deck. The next deck is the Precious Gems Oracle by Maxine Gad. I saw this before it was like released and I went oh my god that's so clever because the only other crystal like um oracle I have oh just trying to grab it thank you is the crystal angels by Dorian Virtue um and I've never seen it that's like that was the only one I could find that was like it's nice to put face and expression to the crystal so you know what mood you'll be not you'll be in but that it will help you with and such like that uh but um yeah i only opened it it only arrived yesterday as i came home with more decks and my dad my parents found are just like why are you what the hell so i've only seen this online it's a very shallow box it's um 40 cards is it yeah, 40 cards. So it's a nice, like, small tarot, tarot deck. Er, oracle deck. Uh, um, so that's the backing. It's just gorgeous. And the book is... 
very simple and it has that kind of soft paper. You know the ones that kids draw on? I always call that the soft paper. It's the one that you're giving kids and it's like the sheet paper that's really um, soft to draw. But um, this is Avalon's shell. Ooh. And it says like the like a, a little snippet word of what it would mean and the type of gem it is. It's just so pretty. It's matte, by the way, as well. Like, this is a matte one. Um, oh, wow. Angel Aura. Looks like Saoirse Ronan there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, hello, Kira Knightley. How are you doing? <laughs> but, yeah, like, it's just so straightforward and very pretty. Um, I'm just skipping ahead so I won't ruin any for the next flip through. Um, I might use it in another, in the next, in another reading. Um, it's very attuned with the emotions. So if you're going through stuff, I would use this maybe in a de in a reading to go, please carry around Ruby, please carry around some sea opal, that kind of thing. It's just to emphasize like what kind of maybe crystal they should be wearing. I'll put it back in order. So yeah, that is the Precious Gems Oracle. Last but not least is the Oracle of Shapeshifters by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett-Smith. It's probably well known by now that I love Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett-Smith. Actually, no. There are some that I will probably not buy because I've seen the reviews of them. And like, I'm, not he I'm hearing the other people's um, point, but there are some like I did. I used to have the beautiful creatures tarot um oh my god like i couldn't connect to that because it was just um it was very like mishmash it was like trying to be realistic and then there was this cartoon character just sitting there uh with a big head so it was a bit odd i will have probably have a look at the mermaid one she's done um that jasmine beckett smith has done and also the one lucy cavendish has done so like it's just really pretty and the backing's just these little like butterfly frogs the cardstock compared to the others this is very thin um so i wasn't expecting that like so what year was this published in 20 oh so they are 2011 2013 so it's um it's a good few years old that makes sense like you know it's an it's an old deck so they've learned from their old decks they go maybe we use this cardstock because everyone likes this and not this one so it's very pretty and just so sweet like look it says fairy bee life is sweet the miss spider web and then like it has a little snippet i just love these decks they're just very straightforward alice in the sea of tears the golden phoenix just skip it a bit the butterfly the butterfly ferrets oh my god orca magic oh i'd love a deck of just killer whales they're so pretty and pandas of course kitsune Ooh. so like this kind of deck's not for everyone you know but it's like really nice um, there is a card in here oh my god like look how pastel that is there is a card in here and I maybe go oh my god I'm really nostalgic because I think that's that is Spyro the, like from the game Spyro the dragon like that's clearly Spyro little brother little sister so um, that is that deck I will probably do a do a proper do a do I will do a proper um review as I said um just because there was just so many piled up I went I can't do seven or nine was this seven yeah seven um uh flip throughs in one day I'm just going to do a, snip a snippet of them like this and then just uh stitch them all together and go and play with them then do you know so that was the uh, shadow shifters uh, deck so that is all my uh, recent purchases and trades with other people for decks 
Um, I'll leave that there, guys. Um, let me know which one you want to see first. Like, which flip, flip through would you like to see more of um, in the comments below. Uh, I'll leave that there and I'll see you all next time. Bye!